What's up everybody, it's Matt from TDM Style here and welcome back to the channel for another hair product review and today we are finally taking a look at the heavily requested Kevin Murphy Rough Rider. All right, so many of you have requested that I review this. I've had a ton of people say you should really try it, you'll love it, and, and so on and so on and so on. So I finally decided to pick up a, well, it's not really a jar, but a box. And as you can see, I've got a fresh new haircut and new color, which I'm seriously fucking living for. Um, but, but I have been testing this for um, about a week and a half now, and I was testing it on my longer hair before, as well as my shorter haircut now, so I do have quite a good idea how this works, so let's jump right into the review and get to it. All right, so starting out with the packaging, obviously we have this quite different type of rectangular treasure chest looking box, really. Um, the only other brand that I've seen do this is Patrick's. I could be missing some others, but Kevin Murphy and Patrick's are the only two that I've seen do this kind of square rectangular box, and I really, really do like it. I just, I think it's very unique. I think it's cool. Uh, it's quite a big package too. It's 3.4 ounces or 100 grams, so you do get a lot of product in there. I really like the uh, kind of embossed isn't the right word. It's the opposite of embossed engraved, kind of, um, K on the top. I just think that's a nice touch. I like the uh, text on there. It's very minimalistic. It's straight to the point. It tells you what's in there, what the hold strength and the shine level is, and um, that's basically it. All right, now moving on to everybody's favorite, the scent. Um, I don't know what it smells like, but it does smell pretty fantastic. It's... I mean, it's masculine, it's musky, but it's kind of sweet, so it's almost... I don't know, it's hard, it's really hard to describe. It's kind of spiced and... Like, the first thing that came to my mind was kind of like a spicy brown sugar, but I, I really don't know. It's, it's very hard to describe, but it's very unique. I haven't used another hair product that smells quite like this. I do like it, it is fairly strong though. Um, and if you've got longer hair, I was able to kind of smell it every now and then uh, throughout the day. But with my shorter haircut, that hasn't been a thing. Once it's in there, I don't really smell it anymore. All right, now let's touch briefly on the ingredients. This has a massive ingredients list. So I'm gonna put that either on the screen or in the description box below so that you guys can check out the entire list if you'd like. Um, but there are a couple of things that I wanted to point out. Now, the first thing that I found interesting is that the base of this product is a compound called diethylhexyl malleate, if I pronounced that correctly, I don't know. Uh, I did look that up and apparently it is a skin conditioning compound that's often used in cosmetics. So just interesting, not your typical, you know, water or clay or petro based formula. Second in line, we have microcrystalline wax followed closely behind by diatomaceous earth. Now Kevin Murphy's website says that the diatomaceous earth is supposed to be very good at um, basically kind of sealing up your hair and just making it very healthy. I don't know exactly how that works. The only thing that I've ever noticed by use, I mean, I'm certainly not a chemist, um, but when I use products with diatomaceous earth, um, it gives it, first of all, a gritty feel and it, it kind of absorbs excess oil. Now, uh, one thing that I wanted to mention that I found very odd, um, I can't find a clay in this ingredients list. I, like, there's no kaolin, there's no bentonite, there's no volcanic clay or, you know, sea clay or any of the ones that we're used to seeing in clay styling products. So, uh, as I mentioned, I'm not a chemist and there are some compounds in here that I don't know what they are. So there might be some type of clay compound that just has a name that I'm not recognizing. But if there are any uh, sciencey people or chemists in the audience and you are aware of something in here that I'm missing, please do let me know in the comments down below. So just something that I thought is interesting because it looks like a clay, it feels like a clay, it works like a clay, but as far as I can tell, there's no clay actually in it. All right, so next let's move on to the styling bit. So first we can talk about the scoop and the breakdown. So opening up the package, you will see something very familiar to you if you've used clay products before, and that's this kind of brownish, tannish, earthy looking substance. Now, scooping it out is interesting. It's kind of like a traditional heavy clay, but not quite as firm. It does have a bit of softness to it, so it's pretty easy. I mean, you'll need a bit of pressure to get it out of there, but it's pretty easy to scoop it out. And it does have 
um, a bit of a waxy feel as you start to break it down in the hands. Now what I've noticed is once you've emulsified it in your hands, it does feel pretty oily, which is interesting because although it feels quite oily in your hands, once you start applying it to your hair, it doesn't feel oily at all. Quite the contrary, in fact, it feels quite dry and gritty. So with all that being said, let's move over to the demo footage so we can see exactly how this stuff styles into my hair. All right, so here we go, starting out with freshly cleaned hair with no other products in it, and I'm taking just a teeny tiny scoop of this stuff. Once you've got it broken down in the hands, it does apply pretty easily, and as I mentioned, although it feels oily in the hands, it does not feel oily going into the hair. So it is interesting. It definitely feels gritty, and if you use too much, you're gonna have a bad time. So definitely start small and layer it in if you need more, because if you take a big old glob of this stuff, that grittiness is gonna be way too much, and it's just gonna feel dry as a bone, and your hair is gonna feel tangly and just basically dirty. All right, and as you can see, this does have a very matte finish. Now, of course, the natural shine of my hair is accentuated a little bit by my bright camera lights down here, but I can tell you for sure that there is no added shine to my hair whatsoever. And thankfully, it doesn't feel overly dry. Um, it, it is a little bit, and I found that if you use even slightly too much, my hair gets um, a bit kind of frizzy flyaway-ish. Not super bad, but not super great either. But since I've got this new shorter haircut, my hair's a lot lighter just on its own, so I can use a lot less product anyway. So just that one tiny scoop is plenty for me. So we're gonna check back in at the end of the day and see exactly how it held up. All right guys, so here we are. This is actually like 16 plus hours later because I fell asleep. So this is actually the next morning. Um, so as you can see, the hold and the volume are definitely still there. The texture is mostly there, um, but for me the main thing is that it's dry. It, it, which is kind of a double-edged sword because it's nice that you know you're you're not waking up with second day hair that's like super oily and gross looking. Um, it doesn't feel oily at all, uh, but for me it's just a little bit too dry. So, like you know, before I go out today, I'm gonna put in some other kind of product that's gonna add a little bit of shine back into my hair so that it doesn't look quite so dry. All right, now I've actually got a second demo lined up here where you can see me styling it into actually third day hair uh, because I found that because of the diatomaceous earth in this product that sucks out some of the excess oils in your hair, it does seem to work a lot better for me if I'm using it on second or third day hair that's got some oil buildup in it rather than using it on totally clean hair uh, just because it helps to combat some of that dryness that it just inherently brings, especially to someone like me who has a drier hair type to begin with. All right, so now we can talk about the hold level. So as you saw in both of those demos there, it did hold up quite well, and I would consider this to be basically a medium firm. I mean, on their hold rating system here, it has two out of three, so I'd take that for what you will. I'd say that it's pretty accurate. It's not super firm, but it's not really medium either. It's kind of somewhere in the middle. Now, in terms of restylability, it is something that you can definitely touch up throughout the day. It doesn't seem to uh, take away from the hold or the texture or anything if you keep playing with it or if your hair gets windblown and you have to put it back into place a bunch of times or anything like that. Now, the washout, definitely not with just water. Um, this, whatever that diethyl hexyl malleate base is, does not go anywhere with water alone. You will definitely need a shampoo on this. Um, for me, I needed like a pretty standard shampoo. I've tried some lighter ones and it came mostly out with those, but if you want really squeaky clean hair, you're gonna need a, basically a standard regular shampoo. All right, and lastly, price. Now, this is kind of weird because I, I don't know if there's like a, a actual place that has like a regulated price that I can base this on because if you go to Kevin Murphy's website, you can't actually buy it there. You can uh, search to see if you can find any local salons near you that sell it, but there's no pricing information there. Uh, so basically, I just, Amazon, like everything else in the universe now, just buy it on Amazon. And if you're looking there, it seems to fluctuate anywhere from like 30, to 32-ish dollars up to anywhere as high as like 45 dollars. 
All right, so overall thoughts on Kevin Murphy, Rough Rider. Um, I like it. It's not my favorite. I like it best when I use it on second or third day hair, as I mentioned, because of all that diatomaceous earth in there and being someone who has a drier hair type already, when I use it on clean hair, it just, it's too gritty and too dry. But it does have, you know, a lot of positives. I really like the packaging. I like the smell. Uh, it's easy to apply. And it, although it's dry and gritty, it doesn't really give me that tangly ends feeling that some other really matte products do. That was slightly an issue when I had longer hair. But with this shorter cut especially, I had no tugging or pulling or tangling issues whatsoever. But, you know, it does what it says. I think as far as the price, it's decent. I mean, if you can get it for like 30 bucks, that's a pretty good price for almost four ounces of product because you use so little of it that it's going to last you forever. Um, so that's not a terrible price. It is more expensive than several other brands that we're used to. But I mean, at the end of the day, Kevin Murphy is a pretty famous guy. He's kind of like Paul Mitchell. Like you're just you're going to spend more money if you want to buy his stuff. Um, I do want to try out other Kevin Murphy products. I think Knight Rider is one that I would probably like, but that one is weird. I mean, I, I've seen that one on Amazon for like 60 fucking dollars, so I don't know why that one's so expensive comparatively. I, I mean, like, are the prices really... Do they really price them that differently, or is that just like a sellers being jerks? I really don't know, but um, if I can find a deal on that one at some point, I'll probably get it and try it. And I would be interested to try some of his other stuff, shampoos or whatever, because I've heard that they're great. But that does it for this particular review, so I hope that you guys enjoyed it and found it helpful. And uh, definitely, once again, stay tuned to the channel. I have several, several, several more products that I'm going to be reviewing coming up and other projects that I've been working on. You don't want to miss those. So if you haven't already, please do hit that subscribe button down below to keep up to date with all that upcoming content. And as always, thank you guys so much for coming by and watching, and we'll see you in the next one.